Hi, STAT students. In this example, I'm going to show you um, a t-test for dependent means, and this is based off the problem in your text from pages 237 and 238. The problem was whether what happened to communication of 19 husbands before and after their marriage. And so what we're going to do, as you can see, first off, we have the communication scores before in the first column and then after. So you can see, for example, on this first person, this first gentleman, his communication decreased from what it was before they got married and some increased as well. Some stayed the same, etc. But we want to know whether or not this is, is this, you know, what's happening significant or not? So how likely is it that the sample of the different scores is a random sample from a population of different scores whose mean is zero? So what we want to do here is we'll go to analyze and then we'll go to compare means and this time we're going to be doing a paired samples t-test because it's dependent and we're talking about the same thing here it was before and after marriage so I'm gonna let before be my first variable and then after will be my second variable and then also um, I'm going to go ahead and check the options, which you can see that my confidence interval percentage is at the 95% level, which is what we want. So I will go ahead and hit OK. And you can see, of course, I get my mean, standard deviation, standard error, etc. But what I'm really interested in down here is my paired samples test. I want to know what the t-score is. So if you go over here at the very end, you can see that it is 4.240. And hopefully you can see, well, that's a pretty big number, plus or minus 4.240. Um, but if we take a look at um, degrees of freedom of 18 and a... 0.05 cutoff value on page 668, you'll see that our cutoff values are plus or minus 2.101. Well, again, you can see that plus or minus 4.24 are going to be to the extremes of plus or minus 2.101. So because of that, we would reject the null hypothesis.